Here is an introduction to motion graphs. In this video, we will focus on position versus time and velocity versus time. Acceleration, which is the rate of change of velocity with time, will be mentioned, but its graphs will be addressed in a different video. A motion graph is a representation of a motion quantity as a function of time. The different quantities, and hence the graphs, can be related to each other, and in the graphical representation, they are related through slope or area of the curve. In motion graphs, the time is usually represented on the horizontal axis. The motion quantity, in this case position, is represented along the vertical axis. This is an example of a stationary object. Note this object has a position value of 3 meters at 0 seconds and at all subsequent times. Here is an example of an object starting at 2 meters and then 3 seconds later it is at 5 meters. Because the rate of change of position, represented by the slope of this graph, is constant, we describe the motion of this as constant positive velocity. Here is an object that starts at positive 1 meter, but 3 seconds later ends up at negative 2 meter. This object is moving at constant velocity in the negative direction. Let's practice describing the motion of an object represented in this graph. For reference, the table of time versus position has also been provided on the right. In the time interval of 0 to 1 second, the object is moving in the positive direction with a constant velocity of 1 meter per second. In the time interval of 1 to 2 seconds, the object is stationary at the position of 1 meter. From 2 to 5 seconds, the object is moving with a constant velocity of negative 1 meter per second.
the object remains stationary at negative 2 meters between 5 and 8 seconds. Starting from negative 2 meters, the object will end up at positive 2 meters in the time interval of 8 to 10 seconds. This translates to a velocity in the positive direction of 2 meters per second. The object then remains stationary at positive 2 meters. Now let's consider velocity graphs. An object at constant velocity must have the same value velocity through time. An object is only stationary if the value of the velocity is zero. In this example, the velocity at time equals zero seconds is zero, and that all subsequent times is also zero. An object with constant velocity that is not zero is moving. In this example, the velocity is constant at 1.5 meters per second, meaning the object is moving in the positive direction. If the velocity changes through time, then the object has an acceleration. The slope of the velocity graph will give the value of the acceleration. In this example, the object starts with a velocity of positive 0 0.5 meters per second, and after 5 seconds, we'll have gained a velocity of 3 meters per second. This object is set to be speeding up. A negative slope velocity graph means a negative acceleration. This does not always mean the object is slowing down. Velocity and acceleration are vectors, and the negative sign just means a direction. If both velocity and acceleration are in the same direction, then the object is speeding up. The velocity gains magnitude. If the velocity and the acceleration have opposite signs, then the velocity will lose magnitude, meaning the object is slowing down. In this example, the object starts with a positive velocity of 1.5 meters per second, slows down to a stop 
by three seconds, but then starts speeding up in the negative direction afterwards. One can interpret from the velocity graph what is the displacement of the object. Remember, as long as velocity is positive, the object has a displacement in the positive direction. In the velocity graph, this will be calculated from the area between the velocity curve and the zero axis. When the object has a negative velocity, it is undergoing negative displacement. This will be represented by the area between the curve and the zero coordinate. Note that this displacement must be subtracted from the total displacement to get our net displacement through the entire time.